Hello and welcome we're going to get into another video and in today's video we'll, we will be talking about the top buffed pokemons those pokemons are the pokemons you should be investing your resources and in. i by should i don't mean you have to it's like but you're supposed to because those pokemons are actually insane in the next season season 20. uh so let's just go and watch and start talking about what are the pokemons in every league that are worth your resources and first and foremost we're gonna start with great league why great league it's the most important league it's the league that everyone has the most resources and it's the arguably the cheapest league to invest in since you don't need xls sometimes you do sometimes you don't so by far it's the most accessible league to everyone and uh, before we talk about the buffed pokemons this is a disclaimer that spot that those three pokemons did not get a single buff but they are they were so good in the previous meta they didn't get touched and they do well against they will do well against the new meta because they are still as strong and they didn't suffer from a buff sorry they didn't suffer from a debuff and they they do well against whatever that was good in the in the past and whatever is good in the future because those pokemons are just insanely good due to their spam ability having some decent charge moves or fast moves or both or even having some decent stats uh, those three pokemons are as you guys will see azumarill charger bug azu uh, i wanted to add mandibus but mandibus technically got a nerf i wanted to add talonflame but talonflame wasn't meta in great league yes i know some people like rise to occasion used it that point jay both used it but that doesn't mean it's a meta pokemon it was good as an anti-meta but those three were meta and would still be meta uh the the now moving into the pokemons that are actually that actually get a buff and they should be insanely good in the next season and number one is claude sire uh, Cloud Sire had a niche spot in the meta right now. It's so good as long as you dodge the Feraligator, but outside that it should be good. But the problem is there's so many uh, Feraligators that you can't use it. There is so many Dugong that also makes you makes it rough to use Cloud Sire. Next season, Cloud Sire, according to PV Poke New Ranking for the future season, for season 20, based off the uh, move update, is going to be Cloud Sire. And for sing one simple reason is that Cloud Sire wasn't good enough because it lacked like uh, some slight more damage. And it will get it next season, but just by having po Poison Sting. Poison Sting will get a big buff. Uh, technically, you will, do, you will do 25% more damage from fast move. And some people might say 25 multiplied by 0 is 25. Uh, yes, you are right. But technically, it didn't need a buff. It just needs like a slight push, you know? Like sometimes you just need a small push. Like basically your mom telling you you're useless. Your wife telling you you're dumb. Stuff like that so you can do like, you know, whatever you're supposed to do. With all due respect to our moms and wives, okay? Moving to the next Pokemon, this Pokemon is actually going to be insane, okay? Took them four years, but hey, they are meta now. Clo uh, Mudslab. Mudslab got a buff last season, and then will get two buffs next season. Basically, more damage, more energy. They made it do more damage. It used to be 10. It, it became 11. That wasn't good enough. It will become 12, so that will be great enough, and also, it will generate more energy. So, just to give you like a hint on how good... Uh, Mud slap is it will literally be better than uh, dragon uh, dragon uh, dragon tail. It does one less damage, but it generates one much one uh, one more energy. I think I missed the stat here or something. L let me. I think I cropped it or something. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's a cropped. It's supposed to be. Yeah, it's supposed to be 13. Yeah, no, no never mind. It's 13.32, like the multiplier between energy per turn and damage per turn. Okay. And that will put Gastrodon at number 5 in the Open Great League. Makes it the best Mud Boy, okay? Uh, it's, it will be better than Quagsire. Just to give you like a like a, a speculation on how good it will be in the next season. Uh, another Pokemon that's getting a huge buff is... Uh, too lazy to fight. I call him Dunsparts. Uh, he looks so sleepy. He doesn't want to fight. But he get a massive buff to Rollout. Rollout will do 3 more damage, okay? And that will make it like literally even better than Karate Chub. You know how insane Karate Chub will be? Technically, rollout is still better. And yes, you might be saying that uh, this Pokemon got a nerf to Rock Slide because Rock Slide actually nerfed. But the thing is, the damage you lost from Rock Slide, you will do more from the fast move, okay? So technically, you lost some damage here, but you gained lots of damage here. So that will, you know, like compensate. But 
when you need to throw drill run you're just basically doing more damage from the rollout which will make an actual huge buff so done spots is going to be the new licky tank okay because this thing has a coverage for everything in the meta okay it has everything that doesn't fly you throw drill run everything that does fly you throw rock slide unless they are ice then you can throw rock slide but i think if they are ice you still throw drill run just because it's a better fast move and uh, next i'm going to talk about two pokemons at once number one is clefable it will be number 10 in great league and machamp number 11 in the great league so machamp get a nerf uh by the way machamp is shadow get a nerf to counter but what they did is they make karate chop so op that you actually would prefer it even against the old counter and that will put machamp number 11 at great league uh, because it because it moved from being a fast move pokemon to like a pokemon that does some damage and actually generate lots of energy so now you run cross uh, cross chop and stone edge with the exception that you need to actually two elite tms an elite fast tm for the karate chop and an elite charge tm for the stone edge because rock slide is just so bad now and stone edge is technically expensive but the good thing about stone edge is that karate chop now generate more energy so keep that in mind uh cliffable uh it's a fairy wind buff the fairy wind now will do one more damage and that will help in lots of matchups and stuff like jellicent where like this thing used to struggle lantern technically not lantern is nerfed but technically cliffable just need this needed a small buff to be meta and now it should be meta now moving into the duo uh of wax uh, alolan Meadowak and kalolan Me kalolan kanto Meadowak. Sorry, I apologize. So, Cantamera get two buffs, okay? Mud clap. Mud. I apologize, okay? That wasn't intended, I swear. I came, I had a long day at work and I was planning to make this video like two weeks ago. But I'm like, I should be making it, okay? My viewers don't know what to invest in. No, to be honest, my viewers are like smart AF. They know what to do, okay? But this is just a reminder that this is what they should do besides subscribing to the channel if they haven't. So, Cantamera is actually number. 15 again he needed a shadow why because this is a fast move pokemon think of think of Marowak as literally a shadow vic think of it as a something that just benefit th that's like a hard hitting fast move pokemon something like dragon dragonite with with the dragon tail so bone club get a massive buff bone club now is a is an aqua tail clone the, the buffed aqua tail and mud slab is decent fast move okay and and uh alone and Marowak get a get two decent buffs one to fire spin fire spin now does one more uh damage as you can see here and uh Sh shadowbone no not shadowbone bone club also get a buff now it's an aqua tail clone so matchups where you need to throw bone club it won't be as bad and this matchup used to remind me like it was this one specific matchup where like Meadowak used to struggle even though it has a ground move is the best hit on one because mud uh, bone club was so bad of a move that it doesn't even do that much damage to bass you know which takes four times super effective from a ground move now moving to a pokemon that get a small buff but it will be huge in the meta okay literally small buff but it will be huge and then the meta and pokemon that pokemon is jump love jump love right now is the best grass pokemon and why would you need a grass pokemon well technically because it is a pokemon that we have kanto muck a kanto uh Meadowak, and we have gastrodon and those pokemons are just insanely good in the meta okay so that's why jump Love is making a huge comeback to the meta when i say comeback that means that implies that it used to be good so i apologize on saying that but jump Love is actually the best to grass and we cannot meta. this see guys some pokemon are one fast move from becoming literally op and i do believe that jump Love is the best flyer not just the best pokemon the best to grass and the best flyer uh, another pokemon that get an unnecessary buff uh our friend Guzzlord, the guy who we make co lots of content about. If you watch this channel, you won't know how much I love Guzzlord. I've been spamming this Pokemon for the last two seasons. But now what they did is they made Brutal Swing does 10 less and damage. And it will be 5 less energy. So now it became a, an Aqua Tail clone to the point where you actually don't even need Dragon Claw. You can just run Brutal Swing and a Sludge Bomb in case they have a Fairy Pokemon. Now someone would say, can I run Snarl? Please don't, okay? I will I will ban you if you do that. If you want to run Snarl, just run Umbreon. It's much better as a Snarl user, okay? The thing about Guzzlord, it's a dragon that beats the dragons and beats the, the other dragons and beat the other dark Pokemons because you have Dragon Tail. And you beat other dragons because you're just bulkier. Uh, another Pokemon that get a small unnecessary buff as well 
and I'm actually happy. Uh, if you actually watch the channel, you would know how much I love this Pokemon. If you even look at the background and see that this Pokemon actually has a... Uh, I have him in the background, which is Sable Guy, okay? Sable Guy uh, get a buff to the Shadow one. The non-Shadow didn't get a buff, okay? So don't, like, call me out on this, like, oh, yeah, I don't make Sable Guy get a buff. No, it did, actually. Hopefully, they give it a brutal swing. I don't know if it learns it. But the thing is, now Port Gem does five more damage and requires five less energy. So it's going to be the new... The old dig, the dig that before the nerf, okay? Now dig is nerfed, okay? Now dig is 75, it used to be 85 for 50. Now this should make it 85 for 50. But before you make Shadow Sableye, go and watch this video. Shadow Sableye Deep Dive IV Pokemon Go Battle League by Yasser Elite. Because I explained so many matchups that if you have some specific IVs, you're gonna be uh, way happier, okay? Uh, Shadow Sableye used to be rank 116 now it's rank 80 this rank doesn't mean anything for sableye because there's so many meta matchups that you actually destroy and that will be it for uh open great league now you should be like some some pokemons that wasn't that wouldn't mention stuff like wigglytuff okay wigglytuff was already meta okay so yes it gets a small buff but uh i think it's already good enough okay so it doesn't respect it doesn't deserve like a notable like a, okay we should talk about that uh, another Pokemon is Oxy. Okay, Oxy get a buff, but it won't be good enough in Open Great League. So this video is Open Great League, Open Ultra League, Open Master League. What about Theme Cups? We will do that. Okay, so we will stay. We hopefully we stay always on, on top of content. Now Ultra League. Okay, so we talked about Machamp and Clefable in Ultra Le Great League. Now we're gonna mention them also in Great League. I don't know remember the ranking for Shadow Machamp, but hey, Clefable is going to be number three in Ultra League. This is insane. This Pokemon is going to become a beast. And you actually now have a baiting move. Swift, okay? You can just spam Swift, especially against fighters, especially against the stuff where you actually can bait where you need to bait, okay? Uh, you don't need Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash used to be good against Alola Ninetale, but Alola Ninetale is kind of out of the meta already, so you don't need it. It doesn't exist anymore as much. And if you have an XL Clefable, I don't think you care that much about opposing fairies because you're just gonna win because you're gonna out them and out-spam them. Another Pokemon that actually worth the mention is better day <laughs> better late than ever licky licky okay they're not flicky tongue but licky licky is still as decent uh if you have a licky licky that you built an xl one i have a hundo built i'm not gonna build another one okay but i might if it's that beastly of a pokemon okay it has rollout which means it destroys all the flyers it has shadow ball and body slam body slam technically is a bad move now it's a very bad move actually but it has Shadow Ball as well. So, do you need a Shadow Ball Body Slam Pokemon that does hit the flyers with a super effective fast char charge move? Fast move? That's Licky Licky, okay? Uh, another two Pokemons that I'm gonna mention right now is Florgus and Drapion. If you guys watch my videos like one year ago, there was a Pokemon I used to talk a lot in, about in Greatly, in Ultra League, which is Drapion. Drapion used to be actually insanely good as a Core Breaker. Any Core, the, oppos the opponent run. It will get broken by a Drapion. But now it's not as good because uh, there, is, there are so many fighters. There are so many Registeels and Talonflame is kind of hard for Drapion to beat. And now someone will be like, oh, you beat it if you are up energy. Yes, you, that's the case for almost everything. So Drapion got a slight buff, which now for the poisonous thing, it's it, it moved from 3 uh, damage. Uh, per fast move into four that's like might not be a lot but it actually that's a lot on a shadow one because that means the shadow one will always do one more damage which make the shadow much better case which makes a much better case for the shadow one because with the shadow one now i think two crunches will ko everything uh, except registeel don't be like oh yeah i, said, I don't think registeel dies in two crunches now someone will be like oh yeah I, said, I don't think steelix died two crunches i know i know those stuff are like abnormal okay uh, and uh, Florgus is actually in the meta where this Pokemon used to be outside the meta, not even close to be meta. Why did it, did it become a meta? Because it has Fairy Wind, Disarming Voice Moon Blast, and Fairy Wind get a debuff. Uh, other Pokemon was like Slurpuff. Slurpuff has Fairy Wind, I think. Uh, and it can break the. It used to be the only code breaker to Steelix Virizion because it's the only Pokemon that can beat both. So now it might have a 
decent play into the meta. Another Pokemon I actually never seen in the meta and now is actually meta is Dusknir, okay? Dusknir got two huge buffs. Astonish is now one of the best fast moves in the game. It's a Mud Slap clone. It's better than Dragon Tail. And Shadow Punch is an Aqua Tail clone. This Pokemon technically only has, only runs uh, Ghost, fast moves, charge moves, but technically they are good enough okay you run this thing double with double charm in case they have a dark pokemon and you'll you'll be like in a much better case because this pokemon has very decent stats okay we're talking about i think uh blastoise stats uh, around 4200 uh wait blastoise could be 4600 it's better than swamp but much better than swamp but okay so this pokemon is tanky it has Astonish, uh, Shadow Punch, and Shadow Ball. And you will be spamming Shadow Punch non-stop. Like, literally. So as an example, Dusclops, the second evolution, will also be insane in, in themed cups. But I didn't talk about it because this is not themed cups, okay? Now, let's move into Master League. And in Master League, there are like five Pokemons I want to mention, okay? Uh, Master League number one Pokemon is going to be Yeveltal. Yeveltal next season is going to be a huge. It's going to be insanely good, insanely OP. And for the fact that they buffed Sucker Punch from 5 to 8, that's a big uh, buff. Uh, so Sucker Punch is becoming a old counter the current season previous and previous season's stat. To the point where like against Dialga, you no longer throw Focus Plus. You don't need to throw Focus Plus to win. You can just go straight Dark Pulse. Because Dark Pulse does like 50% and after that, you can just literally fast move it all the way down. All the way down, okay? No mercy. Land the Dark Pulse and farm all the way down. Uh, and Sol Galeo, which is literally right, comes comes right after Yeveltal. And something to mention, now with the buff to Sucker Punch, you destroy you destroy Zygarde, okay? You destroy Zygarde, so keep that in mind. And now moving to Sol Galeo. Sol Galeo gets a, sl a small buff, which is Fire Spin, now does one more damage. The thing about Sol, uh, Sol Galeo, it's one of the best Pokemons in the two because you have Psychic Fang and you can just keep de debuffing the opponent to the Oblivion. Uh, yes, it might not be the best way to do it, but so, what what you care about is that does it do the job? Yes, it does. Okay, then it's good. Uh, I think Home Slice Henry said that uh, uh, Duskman the Lion is better than Sol Galio in the one shield, but the Lion is better than in the two shield, which makes sense because this thing needs Psychic Fang debuffs and city and it's it's tankier, and the more you debuff them, the more that that means you will be in a You'll just be like way better, okay? Because you're gonna debuff them and you're gonna you fast move, start ramping up more, and you're gonna do more damage. And the two Pokemon that actually get buff, one of them doesn't count as a buff uh, because the Lion Necrozma has Metal Claw, and Metal Claw is getting a energy gener generation increase, okay? Which means this Pokemon will become literally the best. I think the best now is Shadow Metagross. Uh, the best is Steel Attacker. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong because this thing has Sun Steel Strike, which is an absolute like cannon of a move. Uh, so it's number five. And right period is actually going to be the best non legendary Pokemon in the entire Master League. Master League having Mud Slap buff, two huge buffs to Mud Slap, which will put right period slight on top of the meta at number six and also the best non legendary Pokemon. The next Pokemon didn't get a single buff, but everything that be that lose to it get a buff. Like as an example, you destroy your right period, you destroy this guy, you beat this guy in the zero, you beat this guy, I think uh up a snarl or something so everything that get a buff lose to this thing dude my slides are so clean today i am actually so proud of these slides look at that insane slides quality for the first time <laughs> so make sure you read zation that is a video i made uh, a couple days ago about zation uh make sure you save your coins when zation come back raid it okay raid zation don't skip it okay skip leg days but never skip Zation. And that's it for today. Thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will see you everyone in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click all the buttons, ring all the bells, chat, subscribe to the channel if you haven't because literally I think 70% of the viewers are non-subs. So don't be one of them. Help the channel to grow so I can Get, stay motivated to make more content. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.